What's up, YouTube pipe smokers? Chet and Nick here again. Back after a little hiatus, about two or three weeks. Chet's been a little down under the weather, but good to see you back, buddy. Well, thank you. Thanks. It's good to be back. Uh, been thinking about a lot of things I wanted to talk about, and there's some things i got to go over and cover. But before I get started, I'd like to say uh, I don't always smoke, but when I do... I smoke a pipe. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, and I also want to say in that three weeks that I was gone, Nick took a vacation while I was down uh, in the weather, and uh, he went and got Davin. Was it? I'm sorry, my arms. Davindoff. Yeah. English mixture. Yeah. So, uh, oh, what else you got there? That's what we're both smoking. Now, picking me up a pipe too while I was down there. Down there in San Juan, Puerto Rico, a little Peterson pipe, a little Dalkey. That's a pretty. I think that's pipe. what it says. Yeah. Pretty little pipe though, you can kind of see it there. Smokes pretty good. And we're both smoking the little dabbing off in today. So, uh, you say you got something you gotta go over there, Chet? Yeah, there's some, uh, I gotta recap uh, our niece that's, uh, she's, uh, was writing up some stuff for us, took some liberties, and uh, I gotta say some stuff to uh, George here. I don't know if you remember that George from Lankin, Lankis, uh, Lansing. Lansing, Michigan wrote to us and he says, uh, Dear Chet and Nick, I heard that smoking a pipe can cause you to be impotent. Is this true? And uh, our niece uh, wrote this out and it wasn't impotent. It was, uh, what was it, Nick? Impaired vision. Impaired vision. <laughs> a, little, a little typo there. A little typo. <laughs> Somebody wanted to be smart. So, no, it, I don't believe it hurts your vision at all there, uh, George. So I wanted to get that corrected. I'm so sorry that we uh, insulted you. So we didn't have to look out that personal with, information about ourselves then, did we? No, but that was kind of embarrassing, too. Uh, but uh, speaking of embarrassing, i got to go over some stuff. I was at the doctor's office and uh, went in, and uh, the doctor told me I had a disrobe, leave my shirt on and take everything else off and put a gown on. My wife was with me and and we were sitting there waiting for the doc to come back and they had that examining table and I was sitting on it and the doc came in and nurse and they were checking me out and uh, finally got done with everything and said okay you can uh, stand up and put your clothes on so I thought the gown <laughs> was what I was feeling but it wasn't what the, it wasn't the gown at all so when I stood up my ass cheeks grabbed the paper which then I spun around to see what had me and I pulled about six or eight feet of, off of the roll of uh, paper and uh, you roll it back up <laughs> no uh, in fact the uh, doctor she just reached over and ripped it and yanked it out <laughs> And I swear, I think I got a paper cut. <laughs> so uh, that was one of the things at the doctor's office that uh, I wanted to go over. And uh, something else that upset me while I was out. Uh, I better go over this while I'm still thinking about it. I was laying there in bed a couple weeks ago and uh, could hardly move, but I could smell Kathy was cooking, baking uh, pies and stuff. So I, I climbed out of bed. Kathy, your wife? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, climbed out of bed and uh, made my way down the hallway. Finally got into the kitchen and seen that there was pies on the on the table and got me a knife and I got ready to cut it. And she come running in there and yelled at me and uh, told me not to cut those pies. They were for the funeral. <laughs> and uh, I said, "What funeral?" And she said, "Oh, never mind." And I got upset because uh, there weren't no cherry pies. Weren't any cherry pies. I like cherry pies. <laughs> so that's what oh. I was upset about. So. That's why she called me the other day and asked him how much weight I could lift. Ooh. Yeah, that is true. Another, there's another thing that you should know. You should always keep seven friends. So you have enough for your pallbearers, plus you got one alternate. That might not show, so you always should keep seven friends. If you, so, um, what else you want to go over, Nick? Do you have anything that our niece messed up on? Uh, I on actually do. Well, yes. she didn't mess up. Oh. She didn't mess up on this one, but 
we got a response back from Jimmy. I don't know if you remember. Jimmy wrote a couple weeks ago about him being married and his wife didn't like him smoking a pipe. Smoking a pipe in the house, wasn't it? No. I was smoking a pipe, period. Didn't want him to smoke a pipe, period. And he was asking for our advice, and our advice. No, that was yours. That was his advice. Get him a lawyer, but evidently his wife got a better lawyer than he did. So, <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy is living in his van over at his grandmother's house now. In the yeah, I, remember, I remember hearing about that. Yeah, so, that was good advice. So Jimmy, sorry about that bad advice. And what I'm thinking about, we need to get rid of that video. So there's no evidence. We, we can detect, we have to take we're that gonna, video. We're going to recant that video. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, uh, what else? Oh, you got some new uh, ass Chet and Nick. Don't you? Don't you have a guy from uh, Arkansas? Oh, yeah. Where's that? Where's that at here? Here in Arkansas. I don't, I don't remember his name though. Wasn't it Timmy? Well, you know who? Timmy. Wasn't Timmy, it Timmy? Is that it? Yeah. Did well, you know who you are. It might be Timmy. Yeah. Timmy from Arkansas. He get he sent us a question. Says, "Dear Chet and Nick." I like putting that in there. Dear <laughs> Chet and Nick says, "Uh, is it okay to smoke aromatics and the English blends and all together in one pipe?" And uh. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't do that. We have different pipes. I got some for this is for my uh, this is my English blends and all. I have a pipe specifically for my aromatics when I do smoke them. I don't smoke them that often. Why don't but, you show uh, them that pipe you made? That's a pretty pipe. Yeah, this little, little pipe here made smokes pretty good. Anyway, I use that for when I do smoke an aromatic. I, I don't like put them in the same pipe. It don't matter how good you clean them, you're still going to get some residue from your previous smoke. So, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of keep those separate. Uh, it's whatever you want to do, but that's, how, that's what I do. What about you, Jet? Well, I uh, I don't really like aromatics, so I don't smoke aromatics. So. Well, I, uh, we're smoking a, a mild aromatic right now. Really? Yeah, I, I, I wish you would have told me that because I did not just make myself a liar. So that's all right. Don't worry about it. I can't smell. I can't. That's what I, I. It tastes good, but I don't. I don't see the aromatics about it. When I say aromatics, I'm thinking you black cherries, uh, you know, stuff like that. Some people there's a peach blend out there, and I actually picked up a. Uh, what is it at? I believe it's over there. Is it over here? Here it is. Yeah. Uh, tiramisu down there at the same pipe and tobacco shop that I got my pipe here. Got me some tiramisu. I haven't smoked it yet, but I will be smoking it in this pipe right here. So, well, do you remember the the pipe place that you were at down there? I actually, I do. I got the bag right here. I see here. I don't know if you see that or not. Cigar, cigar house, San Juan, Puerto Rico. So yeah, if you're ever that, in Puerto that is, Rico. That is one really nice shop. I mean, it's huge. They got a big old smoking area and just about any blend you could think of. Thousands of pipes. Uh, it's a really nice place. Anyway, a cigar house got me a little sticker here. Got to find somewhere to put that bad boy. Oh, that's nice. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I also want to thank you for coming back for my funeral. That was nice of you. Yeah, yeah. Stop I've there. been working out, so, so, so I'll be ready. So, uh, but... Uh, what else we got? We got anything else there, Nick? Was there anything you wanted to touch on? Or? Just getting depressed with all this weather. This rain, 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 rain. That's, yeah, it's, I think it's, it's like the sixth day. It's very. It's been uh, raining an awful lot. Haven't Get been little, outside much. Mm, Get some cabin Sitting fever. on the porch. Watching the sheep. Uh, I have a small farm. And I got sheep and uh, goats. And... Uh, sitting out there on the porch just watching them suffer in the rain it's enjoyable how to do that so chasing uh, them getting out of the fence getting out of the fence yes and uh, watching my wife chase them up and down the highway that was uh, enjoyable and uh, I didn't even know she could cuss like that I was I was embarrassed <laughs> but uh, I think that's about all we got uh, anything else Nick do you want to no I just wanted to get back home, get our faces back out there, and give everybody something to laugh at. 
But uh, and, uh, no, I got nothing else. How about you? Anyway, real quick, if you <laughs> if you do have any questions or any comments you want to make or anything, just about tobacco pipe smoking or anything like that or anything in general, just put it down in the comment section and uh, we'll do our best to answer them. If we don't know the answer. And we, we won't use their last name. We'll come up with an answer. Yeah, we'll that's right. Up, we'll make so. one up in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess we're going to sign off now. It's been enjoyable. And I'm glad to be back. Probably said this too much, but uh, okay. I'm done, Nick. <laughs> All right, pipe smokers, take care, live free or die. <laughs>